start off today's design by base coating three rocks in three different pastel colors. Then I'm gonna take a pencil and start lining out this cute little bunny design. So I'm just gonna try and use shapes as much as possible. So I'm using kind of long ovals, round circles, more ovals, just to make the nice chubby bunny face and then a nice kind of rounded rectangular body. Next, I'm going to base coat the entire bunny with Liquitex Gesso. This is to give a nice base coat since we're working on top of a color, as well as just make sure we have a nice base coat so that the bunny is nice and bright white when I go over it with the white paint. You can see that I'm using a thinner brush to do the edges and the outlines and any kind of smaller pieces on the bunny, and then I'm using a larger brush to fill it in. And we can't forget that fluffy tail. Then I'm gonna cover the entire bunny with some bright white paint. Now I'm gonna come back to the pencil and draw a carrot that the little bunny is gonna be holding, as well as two little bunny feet that are gonna show in this design. Now we're gonna add a little pop of color to this design by filling in the carrot with a nice bright orange paint and then doing the stem with a nice spring green. take this really bright candy pink paint and fill in the ears and the bottoms of the bunny feet. This color is almost neon. It's not quite neon, but it's nice and bright. And I really like that because I think it's gonna make this pop. You've got this bright carrot and these cute little pink accents on the bunny that are really gonna stand out when this is hidden out in the wild. I'm gonna use a dotting tool to create two small black dots for the eyes. And then I'm gonna come back to that candy pink paint to create a little triangle for the nose. After that, I'm gonna take my Sakura Pigma fine line brush pen and I'm going to outline the whole design. So I'm outlining the carrot, the stem, I'm gonna do his little hands and feet, and then I'm also going to outline the body, the fluffy tail, and give his nose an outline as well as draw a little mouth onto our bunny. take this holographic illusions glitter paint that's purple and I'm going to outline the entire design this is kind of a chunky glitter so it really picks up the light nicely once you get the rock sealed and resined as I was doing this outline I realized that my bunny needed a few more details so I'm going to add a few more lines to the carrot to give it a little bit more dimension and that a couple of white dots to each of the eyeballs Look how cute this came out. And I also did the other bunnies on the two other backgrounds. So I have a green background bunny. And then on the yellow background bunny, I also decided to write Hoppy Easter. So there's lots of options with this one. You can play around with the background colors, the sizes and shapes of the bunnies. And can you just imagine a kid's face when they find these cute little rocks? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the video on the screen or in the description to check out another fun tutorial. Thanks so much for stopping by to watch this week, and I'll see you next time. Take care.